Hello, Sasha. What are you doing with that hay? Um, we're gonna spread it out for the deer because I've been thinking about them a lot lately. It seems so cold and you just said they ate the tops of the black currants and they only do that when they're desperate, so it would it'd be nice to give them a help. That seems really nice. I don't think it's going to be the most informative video for people who are watching, but hopefully it feels warming to your hearts <laughs> in the cold time. We've got enough food in our root cellar. We've got enough canned food. We're staying warm. We have ample drinking water and the idea of offering up something as a nice surprise to these deer feels really worthwhile and it's also going in areas where we want to have gardens later so it's great to have the deer be able to find this It'd be lovely after like a heavy snow and the cold tonight that they find this and they can eat it and they'll provide a tremendous amount of manure in exchange not a tremendous amount but a good amount Whatever they don't eat will rot down and make for better garden beds, so why not? It's a dollar fifty in mulch hay. But I could carry it. Oh, okay. also found footprints in uh, snow the other day for what looked like either some sort of wild cat, maybe it was a domesticated cat, I'm not quite sure, but even so, this time of year, wondering who that little being is and what they're up to in the evenings and whether they're in a comfortable way. It feels easy to put some mulch hay out for them as well. We saw their tracks came this way, so we know we need mulch over here in the spring anyway. So I figure why not make a little nest. <laughs> I would live in there for a little while. At least till spring. 